Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast and Wood Spoonie are back for another NBA 2K24, and this is where we are ready to bring for the next game. It's in between of the Texas Showdown, right between Dallas Mavericks and Houston Rockets. Now these are the tough teams that we are all calling for each showdown and San Antonio Spurs. We are seeing things right in between the first showdown in between of the Texas Long State Star between the two. The Dallas Mavericks was the impressive team that they were all seeing it before. But the other team, however, of the Houston Rockets, have made their way to clutch into the play-in tournaments and looking for themselves to get back into work without the franchise players. But guess somebody is here that we all found on. Yeah, that is totally right, and I'm guessing that Fred Van Vliet is here with the team. He will be missing with the Toronto Raptors, but welcome to the team for Houston Takedown. As right now, the courtesy story lamps are being here as follow. We start with here. First up, we have is Luka Doncic, Seth Curry, Derek Jones Jr., Grant Williams, Derek literally the second. And the other side for the Houston Rockets, we have is Fred Van Blake, as I said earlier, Jaren, Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith Jr. and Abraham Singen. Now it's time to get into Toyota Center. Standing by is Kevin Arlen and the crew, along with David Aldrich at Toyota Center in Houston. And then halftime show coming up later will be Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq. Let's get started and let's do it. Oh yeah, game time. Enjoy guys. Coming right up, the Rockets taking on the Mavericks. For Houston, currently 10th place right now, Western Conference position here at the halfway mark. Still time to make up the difference. Mavs, Rockets, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back. everyone, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. Williams is out there with Jones. Then there's Luka Doncic. That's Kirk. And it's lively. Key matchups in between Luka Doncic and Fred Van Vliet. The spots are Van Vliet and Green. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengu. And it's Brooks at the three, the small forward. Conference rivals, Greg, butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one back. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. Now, here's Curry. Here's Lively. Shangun covering. Outside Curry, just three to shoot. Puts up a deep three. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Rockets ball. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. Passes it to Brooks. Out to Smith. Six to shoot. Here's Shengu. Alpha Shengu! Earned the second chance opportunity on the foul shot. This is exactly what Coach wants from Shengu. Now here's Curry. Out to Doncic. And the double of Doncic. Jones, no one Derek Jones Jr. Where this thing from? Luca Doncic. Clark, over the last few seasons, what stands out to you? 
Well, I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor, Kevin. I mean, a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently. I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season. Here's Smith following the score by Dallas. Shangun with the ball. Williams picks him up. Here's Brooks. And it's Dylan Brooks! And there's a little size to Brooks. 6 7, and he can get it done against good D inside. Here's Curry. Here's Wively. And he comes to town. Oh, here's Lively in a second. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. This sure does look good. Green. Good. Jalen Green. The offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. For Dallas, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. To the middle, here's Williams, and the lamp is good after Bob the Williams. Assist from so Luca Doncic. involved in the action, very good at not forcing it and trying to do everything himself. Now here is Smith, and here on the first approaching three minutes play, and it's Dylan Brooks. Brooks has got his second basket. Boy, they're on fire right now, cooking with gas. Starting this one out four or five, and the ball's to jump ball. So it's the Rockets now. Van Fleet outside. Back to Smith. That's it. And he found his run. Smith Jr. I love the determination Smith showed there, refusing to let the contact alter his shot. Here's Weifel. And you covering. Green against Kurt. Stolen by Brooks. And here we go with Brooks running up the court. Here's Van Vliet. And Lively pulls it down. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Seth Curry. So good at assisted from Luka Doncic. Curry working on improving this part of his game. Brooks outside. The shot will not fall. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Here's Curry. Uses the glass. Seth Curry. The this is from several yeah. times yeah. Derek Jones, Jr. In the first quarter on the inside. And the Rockets with possession here. Smith on the wing. A three ball. Tyron Smith, Jr. Tying it up, Dallas. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger, and we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. with a big group substitution here. New substitution He's for the Houston Rockets. Houston comes in for Smith. Tate, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. He's Thompson in for Green. Now here's Paul. Dallas moving it around. And here's Doncic from the arc. Luka Doncic for three. Doncic really excels at keeping defenses off balance in the pick and rolls. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply great. One of the best players. Trey Van Vliet. He's a threat to record a triple double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous. Luka Doncic. As there is. This is wrong. Can't let Doncic get no, the position no he seeks, or he'll dump all over you. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 
down low. Tate kicks to Vinsley. Five on the clock. Tate the base to Green. He gets that one. Jeff Green! There's a minute 40 left here in the first quarter. Pass to Holmes. And here is Powell. Pass to Hardy. Now, here's Doncic. Fires the three. They get it back. Foul on Houston. Get the league's top Fire Easton. His first personal foul. First team foul. Third is Luka Doncic. The line for Mavericks. Offensive. Dylan Trigger Hall. Really clicked with his game. Two. Over this stretch. Free throws, good from Holmes. Craig, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Now, here's Tate. Nothing on the board. Out of bounds will be out of bounds. First, Dallas Balls. Turnovers a game. Sixth in scoring, and they are in the top ten in three-point shooting. Just enough touch from beyond to keep you honest. And they have the fewest turnovers in the league. I know that's a stat that would make any coach happy. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. And the pass to Hardy. Back to Doncic. That's good. And Luka Doncic. For four from the field. The and the last from six baskets, five from have from come home. on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Green. No good there. Great D that time from Pop. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hardy, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Van Fleet passes the top Foul on the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. This is his first personal foul. And really the defense first team foul. Prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you're doing. Line for Houston Rockets. No reason to back off. Fury tops it. Much better off. Taking a line for two shots. He misses the free throw. New substitution for the Florida Rockets. Aaron Holiday. And he's good on the second. Here's Doncic. Against the Lakers, he was really on his game. Offline from the high post. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really... That is the end of the first quarter. And so, Dallas Mavericks with 19. And Houston Rockets, 18. By one. Go ahead, Jordan McGuire for Houston, Texas. Some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. 
And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. In every season, you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to falter. How do you separate the real from the rest? Kevin, that's a good question. And, and one thing is what we call the point differential. Does it just look at wins and losses or the margins of victory? And Brooks! To go the distance. On the court for Dallas here in the second, Curry is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Grant Williams. Then it's Jones. And it's Lively in at the five, roaming the paint. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. We all know... Curry Smith Jr. Jason Kidd said he knows how to... Drill! Three! Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. And so here is Dallas following the score by Houston. Shot clock at six. It's good. And the rocket lead is cut down to one. Uh, Marley, Jr. Hardaway. Hardaway. Boy, Hardaway Jr. is a competitor now, showing you some real toughness. He's not going to give you an inch. He's going to fight you to the finish. Now here is Holiday. Still without a basket. And it's the Mavericks on the break. High arcing shot. The Rockets pull it in. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. Their starters had to take an early stint. Auburn Sunday! So to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. Here's Hardaway. Following the score by Houston. Takes it inside. Taylor Hardaway Jr. A prolific slasher with some serious bounce. Hardaway Jr. Fun to watch. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Clark, one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger Smith. Now it's Curry, which is about uh, five points a game. Gibson foul, number nine, Dylan Brooks. His first personal foul. His team second team foul. He's got to win in this league with you. Judy for the Mavericks, number three. Steph Curry. Down to the shots. Like Fred Van Lee, in hopes of stabilizing that roster. This is a position for the Dallas Mavericks. The has been a for set. Out of Excel. He's more established and playing with more confidence now. The Rockets making his second game for the DC Rockets. Number five, Fred Van Vliet. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Kyrie was the big signing for the Mavs this summer, and Greg, they altered their roster quite a bit. Yeah, they needed to mix up their approach, right? That they like the Luka and Kyrie Perry. Now they're all in with this score for the next few years. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Dallas. On the wing, Jones. Passes it to Lively. Fader on the way. And it's good. Oh, he's last nice. a second. Lively's got the lead up to three now for the man. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get to oh, it. And there's the goal on Curry. That's, that's his first personal foul. First first team foul for Seth Curry in personal. Their first team foul. Goes up off the inbound. 
The activity on defense by Seth Curry, very good. Reaching, staying with his man, moving his feet. He's a good, solid position defender. And it's only Seth Curry. He's got eight points. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Green. Shelly! Green! Van Fleet's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Mavericks leading by three. Pass to Jones. Here's Weifel. Pass to X. Pocket six. Outside curve. From deep three-point territory. No good that time. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence. Oh! No time to react. And you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. So it's the Mavericks now. The Rockets making the shot. Here's Exum. It's stolen by Green. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Fred Van Fleet from Chile. Best Green. And let's get your take, guys. In the last time out, Dallas. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. And, guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. And the Mavericks call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, it's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. In just a few moments, we will have the halftime show coming up. That's right at this moment. The sideline we have is Kenny Dijon Smith and Shag O'Neal. They will be checking in for the good close of the game for the first half of that run. Looking for an upset to take the first run to start the run in progress at the points. We'll find out what happens here after the game of the first half is over. Back to you, Kevin. He's doing a big group substitution here. Green, he's checked in for Shindu. Tari Eason comes in for Smith. Tate, he's checked in for Brooks. And Thompson in for Jalen Green. Now here's Paul. A three second violation of Powell. Violation. Rockets ball. Houston in the lead. Van Vliet with it. He's coming off a 16 point game against San Antonio. Rebounding was solid in that effort as well. And he did a lot of work on the glass all around it. Just his effort level was off the charts. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tip for tat on the glass. Just yeah. one more. Go Shooter. This is strong. Contested Green. ball game here. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Here's Eason following the score by Dallas. Houston moving the ball around. Van Vliet wide open. And Fred Van Vliet! He's got six. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now, here's Doncic. Seven points in the game. Off target from three-point range. And even with good coverage defensively at that time, he has confidence to drill the three. For Dallas, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's Tate, still scoreless. To the paint, here's Van Vliet. Nice D from Doncic. 
And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now, here's Doncic. With his average of more than 32 points a game, he's giving opponents nightmares with this firepower. Holmes, good. Derek Jones Jr. Assisted offense. from Luka Doncic. Getting his teammates involved. Rockets have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. Fan Fleet against Doncic. Fan Fleet passes. Jeff Green! From Fred Van Fleet! Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Fan Fleet against Doncic. There's the pass to Hardy. Three pointer. That one. And that's it for the first half. We reach Houston here. Rockets 34. And Dallas Mavericks 33. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking and get the ball in the paint. Use that really to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, and now the, the 2K, 2K Sports, Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? It's always a positive side to see a system. The and the Rockets are easy to keep each other happy. It's a brand of unselfish basketball that's fun to watch and play. And looking at Dallas, Shaq, your thoughts? And their defense has been an absolute disaster. Often little to no resistance around the other team to walk all over them. They need to show way more fight in the second half. They're going to get like trapped. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Curly with a strong contribution so far in this one. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengu. The guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. And it's Brooks at the three. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. So Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Jones and Jones. Eric Jones Jr. Oh, this throw. Luka Doncic. Look at it. This one could go right down to the wire. And what a treat for the fans and for us to be able to witness a talent like Luka Doncic. Amen and amen to that Kevin. A generational talent. All eyes are on him when he's on the floor. Hard not to keep your eyes on him. He's so special in everything that he does. And Every night he performs, you walk away to shaking your head at how good he is. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Here's Wiley. And it is no, finally the second. A nice jam. Good to see a player going all out for the games this time. You know, GA, he knows what his job is. Control the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. And out of the gates here in the second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Near the three point line, it's Doncic. Can't nail the jump. It's trailed by 3. And now the latest from our reporter, David Owen. 
Thanks very much. The Rockets have brought in Ime Adoka to help their team become a winner. Ime said, we have a lot of guys that have a chip on their shoulder. Those are the types I look for. And from there, we want to cultivate that into team success. That's the job of a coach, to push that and get that out of them. Kevin? It is. Good thought. All right, David, thank you. Here's Green. Jalen Green! Green's got six. Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, now, one of five here in the third. Dijic finds Jones. Outside Curry. Launches a three. They get it again. Here's Weifler. Shangun covering. Shot clock at five. Curry's shot. Seth good. Curry. He's got ten. Seth Curry's game in the mid-range area continues to look better. Taking advantage of all opportunity. Out of bounds. Rockets ball. possession. And he made the right read on the New substitution for the Rockets. You know, Number 10. Second quicker, and that's going the other way. Harry Smith Jr. Checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Now it's also Aaron Holiday. Changes. Hardaway comes in for Derek Jones. And it's Exum in for Luka Doncic. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. That's it. Shelly! Three! On the basket from Green. <laughs> the vision from Smith. You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. Hardaway against Brooks. Hardaway, no good. The Rockets have gone two of six from the field. Sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Set three. First three. To follow. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. The defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. At Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Mavericks Number three, Greg Williams, his first personal thought. First team foul. Is on the hustle sticks for the men. A line for the Rockets. Number zero, Aaron Holiday. I mean, this kept the ball out. And a line chain two. Got them lots of second chance points. That's a winning recipe. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. And he knocks down the first one. Houston making a switch. Tate's checked in. New substitution in for, for the Dallas. Houston Rockets. He comes in for Seth Curry. Number eight, Penny Tate. Tate. Brooks. Hardaway, no good. 
Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can see it's two minutes remaining for a quarter. Two, two minutes. Outside, green. Shoots over Hardy. Shailen! Green! And down and falls. And it's a five-point rocket lead. Uh, something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner. And you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift. And it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent at using that body and athleticism. Brian Smith Jr. Seven out for Houston. Brady Tanky Six. Right, has been fantastic. Three friends. Three friends. Good luck. stolen by Green. And here's the fast break. Eight in the post. He's against Williams. Brooks the best to Tate. Outside, Green. Rocket six. Another shot. They grabbed their own miss. Outside, Holiday. Nice hit again. And Green. Shailen! Green! Green's got Aaron Gordon. In this quarter. Average trail by nine. Now, here's Hardy. Very hard one. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Tate kicks to Green. A 19 foot shot and the rock. Aaron Holiday! There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Brooks against Hardaway. Over Brooks. No good from 11 feet. And so That's the end of the third quarter. Houston Rockets 53. And Dallas Mavericks 44. And after this. 44. Just one more quarter left to remain as the Rockets are bringing the pressure back in. Looking for an upset run to try to take it over. We'll be right back after this. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. has arrived. So good to have you with us. Mavericks trailed by nine. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. They've got Dwight Powell. Doncic out there with Curry. Then it's Jones. And it's Lively in at the center position. Now here's Curry. Off target with this three. On the wing, Holiday. Guarded by Curry. And Listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. Luka Doncic for three. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Pass to Brooks. Back to Van Vliet. Eason against Powell. And he cries. Eason! He's got four points now in the quarter. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Here's Curry, who scores his Seth Curry four with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. And this is what Seth Curry is out here to do. Able to score in a lot of different ways. That's to Shingu. And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got seven rebounds in the game. Curry passes to Lively. He kicks it to Doncic. He dishes it to Jones. And there's a whistle. Walking fouls on Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. second first foul. Number two. First team foul. I mean, I like the call. His substitution. Was just 
for the Dallas Mavericks, Richard like Holmes. And they're going to set the division for the Houston Rockets. And Dallas also making a switch. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Now here's Jones. Dallas moving it around. Here the three point line, it's Doncic. It's rebounded by Houston. Shagoon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Thompson finds Easton, works with him. Here's Shagoon. Alperin! Singu! Rockets lead by 10. Dylan Brooks! Pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. That one could have easily have fallen for him. The pass to Reason. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now. We're going to the It's a petition for the Houston Rockets, number 10. Is a possible Ryan Smith Jr. Wilt's 100-point game. Look, Kevin, I don't know if I'm ready to go that far, but I also said I'd never see a 16 beat a 1 in the NCAA tournament. It's happened twice in the last five years, so never say never. But you got to think, you seeing teams put up 165, 170 points in a game? Could a player get 100 of those? I think it's possible. Now here's Van Vliet. Brooks up on top. Smith outside. Passes to Van Vliet. Just five to shoot. And to find Shingu. Hopper! Shingu! He has been great. Van Vliet with the assist. Right now it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Mavericks trail by 15. Anjic passes to Lively. There's three corners off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Smith outside. Now, here's Shingu. He's tied up. They're in Lively in the second. With his shot through. His first personal foul. First team foul. A line for Houston Rockets. Alperin Stingu. At the line for two shots. Here's substitution for the Houston Rockets. Number four, Jerry Green for Houston. Green comes in for number eight, Cody Tank. New substitution for the Mavericks. Grant Williams, number three.
Good on the second free throw. And here's Curry who brings it up for Dallas. They trail by 16. Doncic finds Curry. Back to Doncic. Luka Doncic. Assistant Bob. That's the way Brooks from Doncic right there. Fully displayed. Pass to Shingun. Outside Green. Fires from way outside. That shot is no good. His fifth miss now in 12 tries. Here's Doncic. Luka Doncic. Timeout, Houston Rockets. Size, handle the ball the way he does. As a defender, he can really put you on your heels. Now a timeout called by Houston. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Your local key dealers. A moment, that inspires. And by Sour Patch Kids. We're nearing down to the end of the period as we have a next coming up game as we are about to be seeing the next matchup. As the next game will be happening at Salt Lake City in Utah, where the Wizards face against the other team of the Utah Jazz. Now, we've never seen this next Eastern vs. Western Conference matchup, but this might be another game that we have definitely have seen before. A lot of West Coast teams have already been knocking out the East Coast teams, but we might find who will they be. Well, there might be the time one line to get it down. Now, let's present your New Balance player of the game. Player of the game, Jalen Green. And the way he's made his mark with, with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. Now, we told these guys not to get caught. He's remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys? Thank you, David. And then after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass. Here's Curry. And that comes Seth right Curry. by Jones. Curry's Assistant got nine points now. Just the Derek second. Jones Jr. It's leading by 10. Pass to Tate. Back to Van Vliet. Smith up top. Nice. Spin. Right. Smith Jr. Nice shot from mid-range there. Smith must continue to knock it down at that level. Here's Doncic. And that Fouls on the Rockets. Fred Van Vliet. His first first little foul. Her team's foul. Shooting for Mavericks, number 77. Luka Doncic. Taking two shots. Doncic is the pace he plays at. You're not going to speed him up. He plays at his pace, the pace he dictates. Oh, free throw is good from Doncic. 119 left in the fourth. Rockets leading by 10. Outside, Green. Doncic against Van Vliet. Smith. Good. Jabari! 
Cody Smith Jr. He's got four points this quarter. Yeah, From Fred Van Vliet. We're coming at this point. So it would be a nice dub for Houston. Great, generous ball movement tonight. I think it'd be Luka Doncic. Remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And while there were some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a sound outing for Jalen Green. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. Shane Green! And the Rockets lead by 12. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. A nice Luka Doncic. Trying to knock Luka off his game, distract him and frustrate him, but he just plays through contact like it's not there. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Well, they got to be happy with the outcome. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now the pass to Smith. Six to shoot. Here's Van Vliet. Doncic with the block. How about the D from Doncic? These guys appreciate when he gives that kind of... That's it of the game. Your final score. Houston Rockets 73 and 63 for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both things of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away. And that will wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long and good night, everyone. Thanks, Kevin. As always, noticing that this is a hard one to take the Texas showdown. Her range from in between of Dallas and Houston. This has been a one heck of a one, and we all just called for it. Is this a fantastic or what? I say that this was fantastic. Even just to say about the object hangout, it's been really been happening here in Dallas that time, in Louisville. Never seen anything like that. Well, in that case, you never just saw the event. You've always seen basketball games here. That's what's happened before. You never get a win for Houston Rockets to break things on. Proud standing and performance, they've been really on a dominant run. Here's how you did with the total statistics in between. 62 field goal percentage for the Houston Rockets. Both teams are tied up at the three-pointers. Nothing had killed them off the momentum. 100% was put up for Dallas. Free throws to the game. Fast break points was 12. And 44 points in the paint for Houston Rockets. Second chance points was 9 for Dallas Mavericks. Bench points was 15 for Houston. Assists turned out 27. And then it was offensive rebounds for 7 and 19 defensive rebounds. For the Houston Rockets and five steal. Only one block has remained here on Dallas Mavericks, and only Luka Doncic reject that shot. For before the end of the game, and I just did not know how is he gonna get that then, boy. Then it was the turnovers, was only four less to take. Fourteen fouls for Dallas, and then six dunks were performed for Dallas Mavericks. Biggest lead for 16 for Houston and time of possession was 14.08. That means it got me to turn out that great. Nothing you can't take away with that. Time for three star players in the game. I will start first and then Wood Spoonie next. The third star, as we go things on right towards down, right near the end line, we are looking right up in between of here. And this one starts off with Jalen Green, your New Balance player of the game. 16 points, two assists, two steals, one dunk. A out of 13 field goals and 20 performance run. That only has to be one of his best careers after with the loss against the Bulls last season, but they finally dug out their win in Hot H Town. That's what everyone does. You can't mess them up with Jalen Green. Professional athletic accountability. Just really have to keep on going. Number two, as I give it off to Seth Curry for 17 points, one rebound, one assist in the steal. Only got that crazy inbounding, was going threes and three throws, turning it over to be one step. Only one three pointers were made, and seven out of twelve field goals had definitely had put it up with 19 performance run. 
Excellent and outstanding for Seth Kai. Looking to get more. And your first star player goes to Luka Doncic with 20 points, three, three rebounds, five assists, and a block. That was just all it does happen to turn out one of his biggest points in the career game. His team is definitely not quitting, but they're looking to get back into the postseason after the miss here from the last postseason because they were eliminated after Spencer Dinwiddie trade-off from Kyrie Irving. 8 out of 15 field goals percentage made, and two three-pointers were definitely knocked down. 30 performance run and two dunks was the last one it takes. All encouragement. It's a great way to end the day off. With the Rockets win, they make a solid hour and looking to get into the postseason in the play-in tournaments. So that about wrap things up here, as right now, Son of Beast is out, along with Wood Spoonie and the commentaries of Kevin Arlen and the crew. If you'd like to check out the previous part of the game, you can check out here in the playlist section of the NBA on the calling card on your right screen. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We were going to have tons of more NBA posts action, as we're about to be finding out what next one can go from here. And we will see what goes next to bring things on on the other team. In the meantime, thanks for joining with us, and I'll see you all again for the next game of the Jazz and Wizards. That'll be the next one on Saturday. With me and Wood Spoonie gone, this is where it all comes to say, good night in high town state of Texas, along with Dallas, of Houston, and peace out for a while as the NBI 2K Sports Style of 24. See you all again for the next game. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you don't, somebody will. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.